What up, tubers? Tank Top Nummy here for some more drafting on Arena. Got ourselves a nice little Dominar United draft. Let's jump right in. Thanks for watching. We've opened a couple of very, excuse me, very, very good cards in this early morning. Uh, what do we got? We got a Namada, the Primeval Warden. This card is fantastic. Four mana, three, four reach. That uh, just gets infinite value if you start killing your opponent's creatures, which you're usually going to want to be doing, right? Yeah, just too much value to pass up here. Um, I will say, though, that Wing Mantle Chaplain is another insane O card. This is the one reason, really, to go into the Defender deck. Uh, this card is nuts. But I've done the Defender deck quite a few times. I don't know if I've actually had an Amada all that frequently, and I... Well, I'm going to take the rare here, I think. A bunch of other good cards in the pack. Three lands, Cavalier, Runic Shot. If we take the Namada, I don't think we're passing too much all our green and black, so we'll do that. We'll see what happens. And I guess maybe second picking just this Tribute to Urborg here. Not much else in the pack from the looks of it. Um, Prodigy's decent. Jal's okay. Captain Call for the white aggro decks, but... Overall, I think after taking Namada, it's pretty easy just to take a tribute. I often end up in Sultai Poop anyway, so kind of just makes sense. There was an old school Namada back in, uh, I think it was Plane Shift, if you recall. I think it was like a six mana 4-4. Four, four. So this is not a nice throwback to, I mean, of course, this is Domino United, so you're going to have a lot of throwbacks. But well, what did the old Namada do? I'll have to go check that later. Wow. Third pick, two very good uncommons, the Phryxian Missionary and the Frostfist Strider. Hmm. I guess since we already have Tribute, it makes sense to take a blue card. Although double blue is a little bit awkward. I mean, both of these are very good. I don't think there's any wrong way to go about it. I guess I'll take the Strider. This is harder to cast, but it's maybe a little bit of a better... Maybe it's a little bit stronger, right? There are a bunch of other ways to interact with the graveyard. All right, I think we'll go with the Frostfist there over the Missionary and get punished. Wow, that sucks. Uh, I could just take the Scat now, but after getting past another... Oh, this is so awkward. I passed Chaplain, Cavalier, a Missionary... And now I'm going to start taking missionaries, but... The thing is, it's so much more important to read the signals about what you're getting past, right? Like, if I if I pass this missionary and get another good white card afterwards, I'm going to be really, really upset. Because we do have a couple of good cards here. I mean, we have Prodigy we could take, we have Essence Scatter, we have some lands... Maybe I'm going to stick to my guns. Uh, no, we'll take the missionary. It's the best card. That was unfortunate, but so be it. Okay, get a Nail now. Huh. These are some really, really weird picks. Nail, fifth pick. There's a Vine Shaper again. That's like the third one. Bite down here as well. Very, very strange. I'm probably going to regret taking the Missionary over taking one of those other cards, but what is happening here? Sixth pick, Wrath. Two lands, Tribute, Hydromancer. <sighs> I mean, this is actually nuts. Wrath is so much better than anything else here. It's crazy. Okay, I don't, I don't know what's going on. This is really, really strange. Getting another Captain's Call. I guess there's a world where I... move into... blue-white? Captain's Call here over Artillery Blast. Maybe I'd better... Well, if we're gonna go 5 colorish, I guess we'd rather take a removal. Two good lands and an Urg. Urg is really good too. Sheesh. Oh, God. This is a very strange draft. I, I mean, all of the cards we've taken are pretty good. 
Man, those lands are so juicy. But I'm going to take the Urg here. Okay, wheel the Sunlit Marsh. That's decent. Also an idyllic beachfront. Uh, which one's better? I guess the blue-white land might be a little bit safer. Prodigy wield, okay. Impulse too, but... We definitely have more in the direction of Sultai than we do in... Wow, another prodigy on the wheel, okay. All, th all three prodigies wield. Even the Sojourner's playable here. Very, very strange first pack. I don't know what was going on there. I mean, my guess is that we're going to end up cutting the white, but I could maybe splash the Wrath and the Missionary. I mean, th th who knows? Who knows? I could still play it. Anyways, pick one of the second pack. We have an Urborg Repossession and a Tangled Islet. Got to go with the fixing here. I passed so much of it in pack one. It's a nice pickup. I'm sure we can get a Repossession later, and even if we don't, it's not the worst. Ooh. Okay, we could take the Lotus and go 5 color for sure. I don't actually think this card is bad in draft. Or sealed. I mean, I guess the safer play is just taking the Choking Miasma or the Root Walla. Nah. Let's take the Lotus. Take the Lotus to get all these white cards back in the deck. Raph really wants us to have more instants and sorceries, though, and currently we only have two. But the majority of the instants and sorceries you're going to be taking in this style of deck, they're going to be removal. I like how Lotus doesn't even cast Strider or Erg baseline or by itself. <laughs> Well, this should be fun, if nothing else. Yes, yes, yes. Weather Seed Tree is fantastic. Scatter would be good. Bite Down would be good. But this does everything we want it to. Excellent. Ortuck now. Ooh, or a Phryxian Rager. I mean, Ortuck's a stronger card than Rager is. But Rager man, is such a good early gameplay. Hmm. Ah, uh, this pick's a little bit rough. I guess I already have three prodigies which are similar to Ragers. Yeah, we'll just take the the Bortuck there. Getting perhaps a wooded ridge line on this pack. We don't have anything to do with red, but we do have multiple um, domain cards, so that does make sense. Okay, well, we'll take the Rager now over the ridge line. Don't need a second Sojourner. Good. Rada, too? I don't normally care for Rada in these type of domain decks, where you're generally going to be the defensive player. I think I might just take a vine wall here or the tablet. I've been really happy with both vine wall and tablet. Both dig for lands. Hey, hey, hey. Eighth pick, Tatiova. I'd say I'm in the right position. I mean, our Sultai deck's just going to be very, very good. Looks like that Timeless Lotus pick might not work out, but... This is going fantastic. Oh, I might take an Outrider. We don't certainly don't need a fourth prodigy. Could take a wall as well. Meteorite for some ramp and fixing would be fine if we're going for the multicolor. But I mean, no, the outriders are so good and they're so easy to splash. Geez, root wall up, prodigy, bog, and espionage. Holy smokes! I guess we'll actually just take the bog now. It sucks passing root wall because this is such a good two drop, but we already have infinite. Two drops. Might play that.
Mm, I don't see us running two of them, but we do have graveyard shenanigans. Removal right now is the thing I'm lacking the most. But otherwise, our card quality is through the roof. All of the cards I've taken are just like very good. Maybe not the wall, but... It looks like we're green-black with the blue splash currently. Lots of infusions going around too. Okay, let's see what pack three gives us. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to take that one. Herd migration is nuts. I mean, sometimes you'll be discarding it to find a land, but hey, that's okay. And then obviously if you kick it, or not kick it, but hard cast it at seven, you're kind of just winning. Uh, passing a Rager here. Pilfer's good. Sentry's good. Bomb migration it is. So we do have all land types right now. What else are we getting past? The Shoba Brawler pretty good here. Yeah, again, our creature quality is insane. It's just our removal is so lacking. I have one tribute. That's it. Hmm. How many playables am I at? 17, if we're not counting the lands or the white cards or lotus. Yeah, I mean, still just three total instants and sorceries. And one of them is white, so splashing the rafts probably not going to make sense. I might splash the missionary, but that's about it. Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Four very good choices. Five very good choices, even. Terra Sunder, the removal we're looking for. Tribute, more removal. Sentry, Vine Wall, good. Outrider, decent. And then the Haunted Mire, very good as well. But we gotta go with the removal here, so let's take the Terra Sunder. Hmm, okay, this is a real decision, because I really want to get a repossession, and this is pack three. Oh, that aquifer is also insane, but I'm going to take the repossession here. Just make sure we get one. Good. Extinguish the light. Passing another Urg. Bone Splinters would actually be okay with all the, like, prodigies and vine wall. And then we have a couple of lands we might play, but yeah, it's easy. Extinguish. Bog here, maybe? Another Outrider? I'm, I'm, I don't even know if I'm going to splash the first one. Am I? We have two red sources. If I run a mountain, we have three. We'll just take another bog here. I guess Outriders have a really high upside, but eh. Land's just safest. Makes the splash of our first one easier, plus it uh, helps towards domain. Damn. Seventh pick Rada, seventh pick Sprouting Goblin. We have a Rager here, though, so we're happy with that. Another Rager, a Hydromancer, a Necromass. What is going on, dude? That is insane. We're not going to play any of these, right? We don't need Splat. Could Splash Firenado. I'm, I'm almost hesitant to Splash the Outrider, though, since our three-color domain is just so, so good. Like, just take Vivisector here instead of playing one of these lands. I do need more blue fixing, but beachfront's not what we want. Yeah, Sentry over Outrider, I think. Yeah, I just... We'll go three-color domain. Actually, we could play a pump spell. So, my guess is I'm going to be cutting this Frost Fist Strider. And then... Wow, second Urg, too. I think I'm going to take the Grotto. <laughs> ah, what a deck. I'm not sure if we had started taking white cards in the beginning, because we did see a lot of good white, but man, this ended up as something really good too, didn't it? Look at that. 
a really, really good green-black deck with some minor blue splashing. Good curve. We picked up a couple more removal spells in pack three, so that helped quite a bit. I mean, three ragers, three prodigies. Like, the majority of my creatures have some kind of value attached to them. This looks really nasty. Really, really nasty. Alright, so domain cards, we have one, two, three, four. I guess treaty is five, six. So I, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and run the idyllic beachfront as just a kind of a bad tapped blue source. Because it's going to be our only white. And then we run all of these. We might not need the crystal grotto. I guess it's fine too since it's an extra blue source. This deck looks very good to me. Missing some removal, I guess, but very good overall. One, two, this would give us four blue sources if I run one island. We might not, we might even want two though because of the three prodigies. We'll see on that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That would be eight black sources. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight green, eight black, four blue. Seems okay. I wish this colossal growth was uh, Gaia's might. We're not playing this for the trample or whatever. Generally, we're just playing it for a, a cheap trick to act as a removal spell since we don't have as much removal. All right, I mean, how many rares and uncommons am I playing? One rare, two rare. Okay, two rares, how many uncommons? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not bad. We should have a lot of redundancy. I mean, the triple raider, triple prodigy, like, this deck's gonna draw a lot of cards, right? So, I'm hoping that we can draw our manas as we need, but who knows? This is magic. This is best of one. Anything can happen. Going into game number one here. On the play. Hand looks good. Four towards domain. Um, probably going to play out a prodigy on turn two just for board presence, I would think. Yeah, this is actually really nice. We get to go turn 2 Prodigy, turn 3 Rager, and then presumably turn 4. We can do something else as well. Oh yeah, well, just Prodigies all day. Essence Scatter. Okay, so we really need to find a land next turn. Yeah, see, that's what I wanted to be doing. Good, we did. Um, yeah, offering trade seems fine. So remember, we only have one white source in the deck, and that's the uh, idyllic. Though I appears to be not a huge matter now. All right, they have a bunch of one for one removal, so let's just keep playing two for ones. I'm going to take the... Well, I guess we'll just take the Bog. We need to get to uh, seven lands for Tatiova. Okay. Well, there's Nomada. But I think we just keep running up Prodigies for now. Extinguish or Grotto. Uh, we probably need to take the removal. We don't have much, so. That's fine. Well, 
that's very good. Okay, let's go Vivisector. Plus Neshoba here and just pass. And we can try to make some multi-blocks on their Telerian Terror next turn. They might not even attack this turn anymore. Yeah, doesn't make sense. Ooh, there's that. Gives us the full domain. Let's play out the Namada. And I'm going to go ahead and smack in for five now. They can double block with the Barricade and the Prodigy, but I'll be happy to trade away with the Barricade and get a token. Awkwardly, I cannot play Tatiova. And then play a land, land number seven, because I don't have double green yet. Picked geyser bounce, that's fine. Easy triple block on the terror, make him do something. Wow, they didn't even kill the Viv sector. That was probably just a mistake. Yep, he will keep more removal. Sure. Both bottom, I like that. Two cards in hand, so again, play out the Namada, bash in for five. Good. So we're going to deal a couple trample points of damage here and then get a token. Yep. I'll keep that one. Time to value. Or tuck. All right. Well, I think we'll just repossession this turn while they're dirtling. Let's get Nail. We only have one green source, but I guess we'll still get the Nashoba back too. Ah, dang. It's our last unknown card in hand. It's a good one to have. Sheesh. Yeah, this is a grindy game for sure. I need to find that second forest. Like, what the heck? We have so many. Wow! Holy crap. Okay, well, the good news is I can tear asunder the cruelty next turn. Hmm. Yeah, this is just a battle of the haymakers. So why didn't they play anything out? Okay. I guess they're holding up their barricade ability. Sure. Picked espionage. Um, I guess I'll discard the brawler now. We drew a four six instead. So they're just gonna keep holding up their barricade. It looks like. Alright, I'm okay with that. I'm gonna go for the Extinguish now on the Barricade. They can sack it to itself. We still get another 1-1 one, one with Namada. Pro 
what is going on? Where's my green? It looks like they just wanted me to use the extinguish before they played out their terror, I guess. But if Arnael lives, that's just gonna win the game by- uh oh, do they have a, uh... Repossession too? Two cards in hand. Let's see what they do here. Nothing. I'm not going to sack the saplings to draw any cards. That was another really good draw, obviously. Hey. Oh, that's right. We have a herd migration in this deck. Ah. Okay. Well, good luck. <laughs> they need, like, a drag down. Yeah. <laughs> what, a, what a nice grindy game where both players cast a bunch of value cards. I mean, the nail was going to win it by itself if they didn't find removal, but then herd migration is just like, come on, man. What are you doing? All right, good stuff. Go to next. Game number two after a nice Sultai grind. Another really good opening hand. I mean, I assume the majority of this deck's hand hands are going to be uh, pretty darn good just because the overall card quality. Here, I don't know if I'm going to run out turn 2 Prodigy. Hmm, well. That actually makes it a little bit better just to go ahead and run it out as a 2-2 here. Since we have two Ragers now to get value. Plus the opponent played a red-white land, so... Presumably they're going to be a little bit more aggressive, which means I kind of want to just get on the board. In addition to that, we have two follow-up removal spells, so... I might just go two drop, three drop, removal, removal, you know? And that could be good enough here. Seriously? They have nothing? Yeah, this... might be a very, very quick game. Ah, maybe they were missing black? That is an interesting first play. So we just go Nomada, smack out, and it's really hard for them to block. But they kind of have to. Okay. So they need Firestorm here? It's like Firestorm or GG. It's not good enough by itself. Magomos is good, but again, probably not good enough. Extinguish, gain two, smack in for four, they'll trade. Pressure's on. Oh, it is very on. Splat. And they're gonna arrest. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. If they don't have anything else to do, then, uh... Then, um... It makes sense to get rid of one of my 2-2s, two because if I just have another removal spell, they would have died. I'm gonna go nail and pass here. Hmm, that's too bad. Terra Sunder on the Arrest is an option, but it doesn't seem that good, right? Okay, well, that stabilizes them a little bit. I just need to find our, uh... Herd Migration or whatever. Prayer of Binding, ah... 
I think I found a better Terra Sunder target. Was hoping they would attack there. Ooh, there we go. Let's play the Vivisector out and smack in with both. Ah, so they made a mistake here. So what I can do, this is only 5 damage. What I can do is put all of the damage on the soldiers and none on the splatter. And then they don't get the minus 1, minus 1. So, nice little combat trick. Remember, as the attacker, you get to assign the damage. And you can always over-assign. You, you always have to put the... Well, you, you cannot put the Splatter Goblin first. If you're going to make that play. But, um... This looks good. So they go block, block. Take two. And I get to scry one. Oh, we have a lightning strike? Ah, or a Hurloon. 4-4 four, four is good enough. Alright, so they get to use an Eerie, bring back their Splatter. Play this out. Actually, it makes sense to just trade right now. That way they can't trade up later. Although I will say, by doing this, I've given them the uh, two drop again. So, but presumably if they drew a spell, they can just cast that instead of using the Eerie on their Splatter Goblin for a second time. Well, they're surviving. Can they beat a 4-4? And it looks like not. Alright. <laughs> I mean, we had so many good draws. Like, I'm sure we'd be able to grind that out pretty quickly. Unless they drew, like, an Archangel of Wrath or whatever that's called. Angel of Wrath. Or maybe Shouldred or something. I don't know. 2-0. 2-0. Things are going as planned for the Sultai. <laughs> On to game number three. No black. Mm. Little bit risky. This has got really good grind out potential if we find a black source. I have eight in my deck. 8 out of 33, so 25%-ish. So 75 not to 50. Okay, I can, we can actually keep this. Obviously, we really need to find that black source, though. That does work. Let's play that in Scry. Looking for a swamp. Um... I'm debating if I want a Prodigy here. A 2-2 two -two just doesn't seem good enough when we're on the draw, though. Okay, I might play it out now. Yeah, let's just get it out as a blocker, then. We have repossession anyways. Oh. 
Now I really need to find some more black sources, don't I? Huh? Uh, that's not gonna cut it. You know, this game might be over pretty quickly. Filer into Evolve Sleeper is kind of, uh, kind of gross. Rare into rare. Sure. I don't have much of a play anyways. Gotta go for the Gusto. They did not pump their Sleeper. Oh, I see, they just have another 2 drop. Oh, there's the black source, but it's a little bit too late. Uh, I can tribute here. Let's say go. We're going to be too far behind. Maybe if I drawn the like swamp on turn 3, we would be able to do it, but this is this is over now. Yeah, we just take way too much damage. Ah. I think even if we had drawn the swamp for turn three rager, I don't we're not gonna win that game, are we? Yeah, I mean sometimes your opponent goes rare rare. Not much you can do. Turn three if we draw swamp, we can kill the no, we can't kill that. We would have tribute available. Or not tribute, we would have extinguish available, maybe. So we would need to have the extinguish castable on a turn that they don't have the Battle Rage? I don't know. Can't really beat that draw. So you say GG, you go next. I look so red there, what the heck? <laughs> we are on the play, yeah this hand's okay. Couple of two drops. Some land. I guess we'll lead with the creature that can attack, since we don't need to run out the vine wall just yet. Oh, that's very good. All right, we will. We'll, we're gonna get aggressive here. Two drop, three drop into removal. Removal pump might be good enough. Like if they just play creatures instead of removal, this will end pretty quickly in our favor. Wah 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 wah. Lost a lot of good ones there. Uh, we don't need the... Hmm. Well, actually, it's better to take a swamp here, I think. Reason being, access to three black sources now. In case we needed to ever do that in one turn. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tribute that since we don't have any other things to kill. We don't have blue mana. Uh, needed to cast something big there. And there's the blue too. <laughs> Kick tribute. There's the, their domain. I'm not going to extinguish that. I think we can just attack and then Colossal Growth. Might as well kick it. Play out the land so I can hold up Extinguish, but this is a little bit awkward versus any discard. Yikes. Well, that's disgusting. I guess I should have killed the Reach creature, but we know our nail's on the bottom. 
Oh man, just too many lands. Nothing to do here. Chump at the wall, get a scry, put a creature in our graveyard. It's a start. Nope. Okay. Come on, deck. That's gonna help. I want repossession, but I don't think that now is the time for it. Okay. I don't mind if they use a trick to two for one me. I'm not gonna triple block. Ah, oh, they're gonna kill the vivisector first so I don't get as much scry, I guess. That's fine too. Keep that. They might just also have a way to bring back the uh, Outrider again. Oh, they just have another. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's painful. I guess I'm going to lead with out Rager and then go Sentry instead of Bortuk. Oh, Erg's not bad too. Actually. Oh, did Auto Tapper get me there? Oh no, I just didn't have enough of the colored requirements. This is the turn where we might lose though. Yeah, well, any of my 4-4s four I would have played would have died to that. So I go to 1. Let's see. Go to 1. If they don't have another follow-up, I can Bortuk back Erg and then sack the gain. Erg is green-black. 3, 4, 5, 6... Also, eat and bounce. I don't think that's a bad play. Okay. I think we're stabilizing here. Namada's pretty good too. Namada's really freaking good. Okay. <laughs> we are holding. I have four life on tap here. Well, that's unlucky. They must have just drawn that, though. They would have used that last turn. Okay, let's see. Scry hit. This is Menace, right? So we go trade, eat.
I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> I knew it. <sighs> oh, we can keep that on top, though. Worst case scenario, I still can cycle it away for three life. Are you kidding? Jeez, Louis. I mean, they do three Outriders. What are you going to do? Uh, well, even if we had cast the Herd Migration, I guess it wouldn't have mattered. I could cycle the uh, thing there for three life, but that also doesn't matter. Okay, we're two and two now, and like, first loss was just to our opponent having a sicko bomb bomb curve while I stumbled on mana that game. I don't quite know what happened there. We just didn't find enough oomph early on, and then they had Outrider into Outrider into Outrider, right? 15 damage from Outriders. Ah, Erg was so close to stabilizing us. Okay, GG go next. On to game five. Come on, deck. Oh, man. the keep and hope we draw a rager or a vine shaper or just something to do on turn two really well i guess that's something to do on turn two technically this will be one of the best decks i've ever had that gets wrecked if we lose this early Ooh, that erg is gonna be a very good draw Okay, lost a removal spell. Uh, we go Swamp for Erg next turn. I'm definitely blocking here when they attack as well. I don't care if they pump for the turn, that's great. Sure. Can you beat an 0-5? The big booty. I think I'll keep that one. Might cycle it later, but we definitely want it. One way or another. So there are burn spells in red that can kill fatties, but more likely than not, they're going to tempo us with bounce. Blue. Yeah, we want that too. Land pass. Hold up growth. That w if they have a fire nato here, that'd be so good for us. If they try to fire nato, then Namada, and then we growth. Right, they are just going to bounce. Sure, that's fine. Get one problem off the battlefield feels good. I don't think we need treaty to slow. Okay, we go Namada again. Migration next turn. And it'll be in migration for four. Okay. It feels like we're in a really good position, but who knows? Red Blue can do a lot of damage out of nowhere. That's not good enough. And they are tapped out, so this migration is just simply going to resolve. 
Let's go, Bush. I mean, good luck. <laughs> Uh, yeah, double infusion, and then I'm gonna bore tuck it back, and they're gonna concede or something. Yeah, this this feels like a good spot for us. If they have the first strike card. I kind of get wrecked here. But anything else, I think this is a better play. Alright, let's see if Bortuk resolves. Because they definitely could have a scat, but they do not, it looks like, which means we get back Namada. And we get to start smacking. Look at our green black. Multicolor cards here, uncommons here, rares here. Pretty freaking disgusting. Yeah, this draw turned out really good. I was worried at first because the opponent played turn one, one drop with haste. But then we drew, what, exactly the vine wall into Urg, so. Got kind of lucky with my draw steps, it feels like. Okay, we'll take it. Oh, there's full domain. I'm actually going to hold on to the Neshoba. I think the only way I'm going to lose this is if I overextend into them having Firestorm. And if they do have Firestorm, they'd be able to keep their Telerian Terror alive. Erg doing work here. Alright, let's attack for two, draw one of the best cards out of five. Um, sure. Again, I'm not going to overextend too much. I don't mind running out Prodigy since they draw the card back. I did auto tap or tap out of my double black, whatever. Like, now if the opponent Wraths, look at what I just get to develop out with afterwards. <laughs> 2 mana 5-3, there's Terra Sunder. 2 mana 5-3, three, 3 mana 4-6, and Tatiova, so... Even with Firestorm here, we're not going to be in a bad spot at all. In fact, we just get to redeploy like 12 power, maybe even 15 if we uh, hit a land for the Tat. How close am I to attacking with everything? Pretty close. It's good. The fact that they haven't conceded yet is what's concerning to me. We definitely want to kill the Nijal. The potential of that doubling something seems really bad. And next turn I'm going to probably just swing out with everything. I mean, feeling pretty good. I don't know what they could have there. Again, even if they have Wrath, 2 mana 5, 3 Trample, 3 mana 4, 6, Atiova. I have repossession in my hand now. We have Terra Sunder still, so. Um, I guess there's a world where maybe they draw like 
No, how would they give the Teleron Terra Trample? Like, they could cast a Double Strike card, somehow give it Trample, and then, like, Bellow, or I don't know. Maybe I was playing a little bit too conservatively, but that felt okay. Alright, three and two. This deck's very good, again. Maybe a little bit low on the removal, but I'm, I'm hoping we can pull off a few more wins at the very least, because this is a nice one to play. On to game number six we go. We've correctly chosen to be on the play. No creatures in our hand, but we have removal plus ramp. I guess this is a creature. Technically. Good opening hand. We'll see how it plays out, though. Okay, I'm not going to play out the swamp. I could hold open tribute for if they have a turn two play, but I think I'd rather develop out my tap lands. And yeah, that worked out since they played a card I do not want to kill anyways. Alright, well, we have domain. So if I could start drawing some actual spells, that would be good. Another black source here. If I draw another land next turn, that's going to be really problematic. But. The man is there, and I guess that's the most important thing for now. Yeah, we'll get out the idyllic. We have, what, three ragers, three prodigies. Stuff like that would be really nice. Uh, Erg's actually not bad here. I'm smacking for six. I don't think I need to run out the uh, the grotto quite yet. I know I could have been scrying earlier, but now Erg is going to give us scries anyways. Will block. Sadly, I can't growth and make my creature a four. But if they just go for a small burn spell here or whatever, I will growth it. Though if they have like a bite, then uh, this won't work for me. I think that's okay to block there. I mean, what else are you going to do with an 05? I know the scry is important, but... Maria's Outrider for three. Okay, that's fine. We'll keep those. Let's scry now. Not keep that. Rager. That's good. Two, four, six, seven. Perfect. All right, so we can go Tatiova plus land next turn. I don't think I need to chump for damage yet. And remember, I can always sack lands to Urg to start gaining some life. I don't like going for the uh, growth there while they have so much open mana. In fact, because we're going to go tat plus land, we might be able to use the growth offensively. Okay, that's good. They are going to get the Weather Seed Treaty with Trample next turn, so... 
Have to be a little bit careful now. And they have four towards domains. So that's gonna make like an 8-8 trampler. Ah, they have a tattoo of their own. Okay, so. I guess now I should probably use growth if they attack with their 4-4s. Four four because then I can tribute the Tatiova. And we need to hold open green and black. Green and black for the uh, stack of Erg. Alright, we're going to play it a little bit cautiously here. So I have four life gain available on tap. They still have three cards in their hand, but... Definitely don't want to play out Rager. So seven. So I'm effectively at thirteen. Although I'd have to tap the forest that blocks if I want to do that. Maybe I could have left back the Rager as well. Maybe the Rager should have been left back to block something. No, no, because the Urg is just blocking the sentry. If it attacks. In fact, I don't even think... Well, maybe... We'll see what they do. Yeah, if they just attack with this, I don't think we bother. No blocks then. Did I mess up? Or are they just gonna punch Tatiova? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Two, four, six, seven, eight. We could sack a land here. I don't think I'm going to. Probably worth keeping. Green, blue, one, one. Okay, pass. Double sack land available, so we can go back up to eight in a pinch. All right. We go for the blowout here. Nice. They lose flying. We get to eat. Double block. Beautiful.
Beautiful draws. Okay. I can almost go for the kill. Almost. I don't think we're playing that out since we're at 3 life. I want to hold open the life gain here. Okay. So they get to draw two creatures. I do like Threats Undetected as a card. Green Divination that always draws creatures. Choose two cards to be shuffled into their library. Okay. Well, let's put Sphinx and Bortuk in their library. <laughs> Nail. I don't. I don't think they're gonna play out their pixie here. I'd be a little bit surprised if they did. It's just a one-one. Oh, maybe they will. Okay. So now, what happens if I kill their gardener end of turn? That's not good enough. I guess we kill the Nael. Don't gain any life, though. But it's the safest card to kill. Sure. Bortuk back Tatiova. That's almost lethal. I don't have a land. So we'll just go with uh, our own Nael here and hold up back. Again. Okay, that doesn't matter. That's good. I'm actually going to keep a land on top now. That's a crazy game. Oh, whoops. I obviously should not have played my land before doing that. I missed just losing out on a 3-3 flyer for no reason. Whoops. So, a little bit of a punt there. They do have three flying blockers, oddly. They have the Sentry, the Pixie, and the Drake. They have five blockers total, so we get to go for the kill next turn. Um, but a little bit awkward to have missed an extra 3-3 there. Why is priority being held? Yeah, they don't have anything. They have Pix Well, they have Pixie activation, but that doesn't matter. Okay, they drew their Sphinx. Two, four, six, two, four, six, eight. We have them at one. So land wins. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's lethal. One, two, three, four, five, six. This doesn't have lifelink or something, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Math. Not even once. Or maybe always. I still have not had the chance to play with this card. What a disgusting card. <laughs> Ugh. That was a grindy game, man.
Dude, Erg. Erg does work. I think people have been underrating Erg for a long time. And I mean, I think I underrated it uh, when the set first came out, but... Hopefully you're seeing how good it is, right? It's like a scry every turn baseline on an 05 body, which just blocks everything. And then, yeah, turns into a relevant threat later, plus the life gain. You know? The old life gain. Alright, uh, 4 and 2 now. How are we looking? It's a keeper. Turn 3 rager, you can't mulligan. Plus we have the extinguish with any land. Battlefly Swarm. Do need to find a green source, obviously, but we have, what, eight or nine green sources in the deck. I'm going to draw an extra card here on turn three. Uh, there's the green. This is not good for us, though. If the opponent just goes one drop, two drop, three drop, quick succession. Wow, what a curve. Okay. Well, Rager's a great uh, blocker for their 3-1. Hopefully they don't have a removal spell this turn. Of course they do, why wouldn't they? Dude, this aggro is kind of nuts. It's probably better to go with Namada here and hope they don't have another removal spell. Yep. Huh? Ugh. Um, I guess we're just going to pass here. And obviously this is telling of a removal spell, but what are you going to do? Because I only have one green source, my only option to double spell would be Rager plus Prodigy. Alright, make him give it Death Touch. We go for the Extinguish. This will gain us 3 life and give us a 1-1. One, one. And with that, we should be able to stabilize. Obviously, I don't love extinguishing a 1-1 one, one Flyer, but it makes sense. We just need to survive. And now I think we're pretty far ahead. Good. Still need to find another green source here. I might kick the Prodigy next turn. Alright, we're probably going to want to hold open our growth now. Nice, there's the green. And now we just get to play out a 4-6 that says LOL. Actually, I can even attack. I deal them four trample, their creature exiles, and I get another 1-1. One, one. Yeah, we take those. Stupid sexy Namada. Good too. Let's go sentry and pass. Again, continue to op uh, hold open growth and activations of Namada. Ooh, they have an erg, nice.
I need to start attacking, but now that they have a 3-5, it's a little bit harder to do. I could aggressively use the growth, though. Probably not a terrible line. Okay. And we want to give Trample here, right? Yeah. Remember, every time a creature of theirs dies, I get an extra 1-1 one, one token as well, so... Once again, just pass with Namada activations. So they can pump the Root Walla by three here. So no good attacks currently. So let's just keep... Uh, Keep digging. That's good. Now we can attack, and if they block with Rootwalla, we can distribute it. We definitely don't care about that. <laughs> Frisky now and even attack with the Sojourner? I don't think we do quite yet. I think we just keep attacking with the Sentry. Alright, pass priority. Tribute. Get another token. And we're probably going to make a bad attack next turn. Oh, that's a good one. Remember, I have Reach on Namada, though. And I think they forgot about it. I can still sack. Yeah. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh boy, opponent simply got soloed by Namada. <laughs> I mean, even if they did kill the Namada there, we have the Urborg repossession in our hand to bring it back anyways, so. Yeah, was up. The early beats, they went one drop, two drop, three drop removal, but lo and behold, Namada saves the day. Five and two. Two more wins. Can we get there? Just two more. How hard could that be? Good hand. On the draw, but good hand. No plays. Oh, look who it is. Uh, yeah, we'll play out the tap land here. Now that we have Namada, we probably want to save the tribute for killing after. Wow, no place. I like that. Maybe they have a counter. Hmm. 
So they must have a bunch of burn and cantrips and stuff in their hands. Maybe a couple of like Talarian Terrors or something. Palace Lookouts. Coalition War Brutes. Alright. We slam. I'm not gonna wait till I can like growth it or whatever. That'd be way too late. Plus I have repossession. So Herloon kills it, Fire Nato kills it, Fires of Victory kills it. Um go like this and hope to draw untapped land. We might lose because we're missing land drops here. Don't think double blocking is going to go very well for me. That one miss land honestly is going to kill him, kill me, I think. In fact, I should have attacked. You know what? I'm not blocking. I have growth and tribute, so hopefully we just draw like a tap land here. And then we can go tap land pass. Pretty brutal. Yeah, we just need to draw lands. But I don't think running out the tree last turn was right. I mean, maybe... Maybe since I didn't end up attacking anyways or using my tricks or double blocking. I guess I should probably just do that instead. We find a blue source that also makes the tribute better. I guess we can uh, play the treaty next turn for a blue source. Of course, depending on what they do here. But man, they have such a mana advantage on me. Hopefully they're flooding out, I guess. Because this man, our hand just wants to grind. But without any lands, we can't really do that. Yeah, ideally we draw ideally we draw an untapped land next turn, play the treaty. Oh interesting. Play the treaty, get an island, and then we can kick the tribute next turn. Sure, that's fine. Maybe they just have an essence scatter? Sure. Well, that wasn't that bad, honestly. We're gonna just be dead if they play like a Talarian Terror here, though. That's also really bad. Holy god, where are my lands? That's so frustrating. Alright, I might be dead next turn, but... Nothing you can do about that. I mean, I guess I should just get back my Namada right now with some extra life. Sheesh. Yeah, that's five damage already. Uh, pretty well, sad way to lose it. I guess, maybe on the turn that I replayed the Rager, I could have just run out the treaty. I, it was probably too obvious that they had Scatter in their hand, right? Yeah, that might have been a mistake. Not playing the treaty on the turn. 
that uh, they bounced my Rager when it was kind of obvious. Still, though, this feels pretty unlucky. The lands, not the not what's happening. This is incredible. Actually freaking incredible here. I mean, I guess I just have to tribute the Balmor and hope they have literally nothing. And they just have a shore up anyways. Alright, good beats. GG's. Oh! So it's Interference. I guess Interference wouldn't kill us. Wait, no, they would have cast Interference last turn. Doesn't matter, though. Yep, you got it. Alright. Damn. Well. Really crappy way to lose it, because this deck was really cool. I mean, we did get to five wins, which I, sh I guess I shouldn't complain about, but... Ah. This deck was so good! If it just had, like, two more tribute to Urborg, it would be the nuts. I mean, it always it's always going to suck losing to Mana Screw, especially when you have so many cards that cycle, you know, to draw more cards, but... That's magic, baby! We did get to five wins, so not the end of the world. One of the better green-black decks I've ever had. Green-black domain here, splashing a little bit of blue, and then lots of domain cards. I think we only cast the Herd Migration once. Or maybe twice. But, uh, yeah, that's how it goes sometimes. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully you're still enjoying these Dominaria drafts. There are more to come. And probably a few more sealed as well as the uh, qualifier weekend quickly approaches. But, uh... That's it for now. Hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye-bye.